What's up, my ninja? It's your boy Trevor. Curtis Russell. And your boy, mm. Sir Mackleton. Say it. Font Leroy. Uh-huh. The third. Mm. Esquire. Esquire. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The king himself, huh? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. This is episode, what is this? Four now? Four. four. Episode four, four my episode ninja four. gaming, man. Man, we got some crazy topics to talk about today. What you got on agenda for us today, Curtis? So I have kind of a, uh, a segment that I started. It's called Copper Drop, and we're going to go over some of the games that are uh, coming out during the fall slash winter. A lot of these games are super awesome, and I want to know your guys' take on some of these games. Lewis, you can you can jump in if you want. I want to know some of your takes on these games, and if you're gonna you know spend your hard earned cash on them, or if you're gonna completely skip them. So we're gonna start at September 28th. There's no Specific order, okay. but we're gonna start September twenty eighth, FIFA nineteen. I know I'm the only football guy here, and for Americans, that's that's soccer. Just you know, to the unwashed masses. Football. Yeah, it's the original. <laughs> so uh, I'm a gra- EA will always get my money because of this game. Um, right. I don't like half the shit that's in it, but I'll still play it. I'll still buy it. But uh, if you guys, I, I want to know if you guys are gonna cop it. I'm gonna pass this one. Uh-huh. Oh, you gonna pass on them? I'm a cop it. Yeah, I'm a FIFA say, fan. I ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Sports. I pick up two sports games a year. Mm-hmm. One is a definite FIFA pickup because me mm-hmm. and my boy, oh no, don't shoot, aka Ronte, mm-hmm. playing together. And then I'll also either pick up basketball, either 2K or Madden. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely gonna cop. FIFA. Well, NBA Live, it's I don't mean to get off the rails, but NBA Live, they just added in women, didn't they? Yeah. I need to see what else they're doing because I might move to NBA Live. I don't I mean, know. Yeah, I might have to make that NBA on that. Say, huh. yeah. I might need to. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, <laughs> oh, you going there for different? Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I got a crush on Brittany Grimes. Maybe not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to let it be known. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows now. I, I wouldn't claim that. Uh, Louis, uh, uh, what about you? What, what's up with FIFA? You play FIFA? Honestly, I don't play FIFA, but. <laughs> When I cop like a sports game, I like it. They have like a story mode. Yeah, that's why I fuck with two K. Yeah, but Madden kind of like the the one Madden had like a mm-hmm. couple years ago. Not good. It no. wasn't that good, <laughs> and I think that was last year. Yeah, yeah. we got the, all. Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to change. The long shots. Like, can that's can we please shot. get some street games back? Can I get an NBA street? Please. Can I get an NFL yeah. street? Can, <laughs> I, can I get a port? <laughs> yeah, we get that, man. We we I'm in there. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna move on to the next game. We have Red Dead Redemption Two. Who's all for it? Yeah, Louis is like, yeah, I'm all for it. You know, what's understood ain't got to be explained. (laughs) Rockstar normally takes all my money. Always, man. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, I know it's a a prelude to the Red Dead Redemption critically acclaimed game. It's going to be super awesome. It comes out October 28th. Uh, Forza Horizon 4. Does anybody have an Xbox One here? That would be me. Right, right, right. That would be me. I'm going to get it just because, A, I do need something else to play it for the Xbox. Mm. And, B, I'm I'm pretty good with racing games. I heard Forza's pretty legit. Uh, Forza, I think, is the most elite racing game out of the crew and uh, Need for Speed. It takes talent to play Forza. Yeah. It It, it takes true talent. And if you get the simulator... That shit's crazy. With right? the wheel and stuff? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, it's really I good. I that shit top Mario Kart. That's all I'm saying. Oh, oh, oh no. Of course not. Oh, no. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but that, that comes out October 2nd. But they're doing stuff with the, I guess, the dynamic weather. And it's in England and stuff like that. I saw a couple yeah, of gameplay on it. It looks great. It looks great. They always do a good job. Really Playground good. games. Graphics always. Beautiful. Always. Yeah, if always I don't do nothing else, I'm just going to cruise around like I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Uh, when I say this next game, I do want an explanation because I know y'all just gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm a copy." Um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, 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 <laughs> Can we move on to the next game? <laughs> we, we, yes. You just not. I mean, explanation wise, I mean, this is. I mean, it's fan service, obviously. Yeah, right. But this is probably of all the fan service games, the most beloved fan service game ever. I mean, Mario, Cloud, mm-hmm. same, it's like all your favorite people in one. Beautiful ass, colorful Mario present. Yeah. Like, it's Even though I wish happen. they didn't include Snake, cause that's just all. It's just off to you. Me. Didn't want Is them it? to include Snake? No, Snake? God no. No, I haven't even liked them in the one mm. he was in before. Yeah, what was that Brawl? Yeah, he came in. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that one, cause I it's a couple characters I want to try. Mainly like Little Mac. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. You know. <laughs> <somebody>. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even about to make no joke. Yeah, right I was going. Y'all see what I did there, though. Yeah. See what I'm so no, but honestly, I do want to try him because I have this this mutual respect for like unarmed fighters that can get it done yeah. in any video I game. I like I ain't got nothing but mad respect for that. So I'm gonna definitely try him. Um, 
I am down with uh, I'm happy they're bringing Roy back. Yeah. yeah. I loved using Roy. Roy. Boy. Yeah. I love using him. <laughs> That's my shit. I'm really annoying with Sonic, so I'm glad they're bringing back. Yep. Him back. <laughs> what y'all, how y'all feel about wobbles? How y'all feel about the wobble? <clears throat> it's going to be an annoying character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ice climbers, man. That's going to be something. That else is, right oh, there. that is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They're not doing yeah, that. Ice, That's crazy. Yeah. Well, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate comes out December 7th, and we're probably going to do something on that here yeah, on most the channel. Oh, yeah, that's here on the channel. Um, the next one has no release date, but it's The Last of Us Part 2. It's saying it's coming out this year. I haven't... I didn't... I, like, I, all my friends tell me I need this. I think even... Uh, you never played it? No, I have not oh, touched wow. one. I have not touched one. Mm. And everybody I know that's played it tells me, hey, you might need to get out on a shot. Yeah. So... I don't want to get this new one without at least going back to play the first one. Mm. So I think I'm going to do that first, mm -hmm. and then I'll see about this one. So I would definitely about. do that because it, it's a game that is emotionally captivating, and it's, it's strong. And draining. And draining, yeah. Story. It's story, yeah, story-driven. It's amazing. Fucking Odyssey, honestly. Yeah. This shit's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's an amazing game, and it tells great characters. I love games that just have great characters, great dialogue. Yeah. And Isn't there controversy with that game, too? Uh, with the newer one, yeah. With the uh, with the girl being like lesbian, spicy. yeah, yep, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there's dudes running after her all the time, trying to kill her. I understand why she's right. lesbian, <laughs> now, so. but that that doesn't bother me. Like she's she uh, Ellie's a badass, and that's just the end of that. Right. Like, that doesn't bother me. So uh, if it comes out this year, I'll definitely cop that. So that's a different cop. Definitely, definitely. Uh, September seventh. The Amazing Spider-Man from Marvel. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That look, if I don't do nothing else but swing around on buildings all day, it's happening. That's all I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it now. Look, I look. I used to play the Spider-Man games. The ones, I forgot which one it was, but it was the ones where you could not get a certain, you couldn't get below certain buildings, and mm. it would just count you out. Oh, yeah. the first one? Uh, yeah. The first yeah. One. yeah. I never one. understood that. That made me play The Incredible Hulk. But oh yeah, that Incredible Hulk game was pretty Incredible good. Hulk game was it really that good? That shit was fun. Yeah, man, you pick up like yeah. cars and stuff. Oh, that shit was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Man Two though, where you could like you had that several was people. That, that one blew my mind. Yeah, that, that was one crazy. was good. I spent days on that. <laughs> that was good because that one at that point was completely open world. Right. And this is what you know. This one's gonna be reminiscent of all that. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna get it. And do you think it's gonna rival uh, God of War in the uh, Game of the Year? Yeah. I think so, just because God of War hasn't given us enough. If you it would have, so? nah. If it would have gave us now, the year's not like, over. Uh? The year is <laughs> not over with yet. Either. Yeah. So if God of War gives us something else to the story mm -hmm. and it comes out fantastic, then yeah, that's no comparison. Mm -hmm. But as of now, it's still up for debate. Yeah. I think I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give Spider Man a fair shot. I give him a shot against God of War, though. I mean, I like Brittany Grimes. I mean, <laughs> what in the nice. world? <laughs> okay, <laughs> next game. <laughs> so we have uh, Battlefield 5, um, October 19th. I've been playing Battlefield 1 a lot again, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, the fact that they're bringing in a uh, Battle Royale mode, I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, that's a little no, bit anti consumer. Uh, yeah, that was it. I'm done. Yeah. Keep them away. That was all I had. So I don't know how I feel about Battlefield 5 now. I'm like, uh, I'm. Uh, I don't know. I I want to give it a shot, but at the same time, the one that I picked up, what was it last year? I really didn't enjoy that much, mainly mm. because probably because of people I played with. But, mm. <laughs> but and then I, they're going back to World War Two again. Haven't they done that already? I think the first one was uh, World War One. See, I'm, I'm, can we go? Can we just go forward, get away from please? it? Can yeah, we go forward. I understand that. But like, then again, if you go too forward, you end up with Call of Duty and you end up jetpack. Yeah, and jet uh, Yeah, uh, high you, jumps. You <laughs> running on walls. Yeah, yeah, I got a point. We can't. Yeah, yeah. We, we can't relive that again. Yeah, not not in a battlefield game. They're better than that. I okay. I might. I'm gonna get it for my channel and I'm gonna get it and see if I like it. I'll, I'll watch it from there. <laughs> <laughs> see what happens. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go, whichever one you're going to get November 6th. That's a definite can, can, like, can we move on to the next game? <laughs> it, look, man, it's happening. Like, Mac, oh, Lord, Pikachu or Eevee? Eevee. Oh, oh wow. Oh, you can't do anything. Wait, you can't evolve Eevee? No. Oh, Eevee. Still going to pick Eevee. What the fuck's a Pikachu? You, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're disrespecting minute, me right minute, now. Wait a minute. I got a question. Before, before y'all answer that, uh -huh. well, Pika, does anybody know if Pikachu will get a light ball early game? 
A light bulb. Or not early game. Yeah, a light bulb. It boosts his special attack and, and attack. Probably not. Eevee. Oh, wow. <laughs> without, without the light bulb, Pikachu is just a fucking yellow raditor. Oh, my God. That knows Thundershock. First of all, you're going to put some respect on Pikachu's name. <laughs> You ain't gonna disrespect him. Not over no bitch named Evie. Oh my hey man, God. look, Evie might be a bit of a Evo thought, but <laughs> she's versatile. Okay, she can get a job done multiple ways. It's a normal That's co- all I'm Pokemon. Saying. It's, it's a normal, normal type, type Pokemon that can learn stuff, do stuff. So, so you getting Pikachu? Obviously. Yes, Pikachu. Can Team put, Pikachu. Can, I mean, either way, I'm putting motherfuckers in the PC. Yeah. I'm not using them. Because I can't do anything with him. Can't do what, what, what am I going to do with the fuck? What the fuck am I going to do with Eevee? <laughs> Just an Eevee. I, hey, I don't know because, you know, Brock is the first one. So, I don't know what Eevee going to do. I really don't know what Pikachu going to do. Look, yeah. I'm just yeah. going to find that man key. And I'm going to low kick the hell man out of that key. onyx. <laughs> low kick. Low okay. Kick. We all getting Pokemon. Let's go. Uh, two Pikachus, one Eevee. Oh my Trash. god! Look here, man. Don't say nothing. Don't don't just put Evie in such a. Low I'm not. Like Eve, that, it's man. the e- Evie's getting its first like cover on the game. Good job. <laughs> uh, Call of Duty Black Ops for October 12th. No, not not for me. Not for you. Yeah, I'm a pass. I'm copping it because I'm a Call of Duty head before mm. I am a Battlefield head. So mm-hmm. I'm go ahead and cop that uh, for my own reasons. Mm-hmm. And have you been playing the beta? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. you got some access to it, and. Nothing's better than zombies. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm always going to pick up Black Ops. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sick of EA, even though I just said, you know, I'll buy, I'll buy FIFA. But I'm, <laughs> I was just like, oh, they're doing Battle Royale 2, and it's Activision. I'm like, I just can't do better. And I'm not good at Call of Duty either. Right. So I'm just like, I'm going to skip that one. Well, <laughs> on a better note, Battle Royale, I guess, kind of eliminates camping. So a lot of motherfuckers gonna be upset. Now um, be. unless y'all Depends gonna tell on how they, they get the build shit in that one too. Nah, screw that. Okay. No, the second they start case, building, I'm, oh my I'm God. done. Yeah. Uh, next one, September fourteenth, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Absolutely, I'm getting that. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm not doing a that. Tomb Raider fan, so I'm not. I'm not entirely, but for the love of single player games and all that, it is single player. I'm mm-hmm. I played the first one. I loved it. It was good. So I'm definitely gonna copy. Go ahead, Lewis. Playing Tomb Raider growing up, bro. I think that's what made me straight. Yeah. Oh no, bro! <laughs> Not the pointy nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like straight pyramids, man. No, no. Lewis <laughs> looked at that game and said, "Yeah, I am straight." Yeah. Uh, there was a mod, bro. You games. can get her naked and shit. That's yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was that. There was that. But uh, this one, it reminds me of uh, Uncharted. Well, this series, this run of games that they're doing, that Crystal Dynamics are doing, it reminds me of Uncharted, and it's it's great. It's and Uncharted really is probably what made PlayStation yeah, yeah. break through again. Yeah. Besides, you know, the Ratchets and Clanks and all that. Oh, the Crash stuff. Bandicoot, right? Breakthrough in the in the more we're having a more adult market. Oh going yeah. On. And while younger kids are playing these adult games, Uncharted and and, and Nathan Drake really. Really made that awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey, October 5th. I feel like I'm the only person that's like, I'm getting this. No, you ain't done it. No, no, no these are Assassin's Creed. I hate Assassin's, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed. Okay, okay. I, got, I bought yeah. one Assassin's Creed in which my whole that? life. That was the one that had introduced multiplayer. Which three? one was that one? I, I think that was three. Three, wasn't it? Yeah. It was three. I watched it my brother play good, one though. and two. I don't know. The multiplayer was trash. You know I'm a big multiplayer person. Yeah, multiplayer was crap on that Yeah, it was It was garbage. But it's, it's Ubisoft. They ain't exactly known for multiplayers. This is also true. For Honor. <clears throat> Oh wow! Oh, wow, <laughs> he went there. <laughs> uh, the, you can be uh, a dude. You can be a woman. It's in uh, Greece. Really? Yeah, you can be a woman. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, it's in Greece, and they're getting better with the fighting and the RPG aspect of the game. So oh, I'm hype. I'm oh, hype. Oh, oh. It's super hype. Last game so was really janky, so I couldn't really. I, I got deep into it, but I got tired of it after a while. <laughs> um, November fourteenth, Fallout seventy six. I'm getting it. I'm gonna give this one a chance. Good, because. Good. I've never been a super Fallout fan just because mm-hmm. the graphics seem kind of off to me. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to give it a shot. Mm-hmm. I have to give it a shot just because yeah. of all the new stuff they're introducing. And I'm enjoying what I'm seeing from the storyline. And you're a so multiplayer guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in there. Yeah. Like Swimway. <laughs> oh, Mac, what's going on? I'm not the biggest fan of post apocalyptic games. Mm. I never have been. Mm. I've tried Fallout and I get it, but. I'm a medieval guy, man, which is why I got into Skyrim so heavy. Yeah, right. like I, I like swords and shields and, and magic and shit. I'm not a fan of giant watches and, and 
you know, whatever the hell else Fallout whatever, got to Yeah, they got a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> this game has been getting... Fucking monsters on that look like the Borg. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, this game has been getting a lot of stick because it is online and Fallout is mainly a single player kind of, you know, game. So, But I'm, I'm going to give it a try because Bethesda was like, we want to try some different stuff. And that's what they're going for. I, I'll just wait my 10 years for Elder Scrolls to come out. Yeah, it will be old as I don't know what. Yeah. Uh, for mean, Elder Scrolls 6. My kids will be adults. <laughs> Uh, Dragon Quest Eleven. I've only played a few Dragon Quest. It comes out September fourth. I'm a Dragon Quest head, so I'm I'm definitely definitely gonna copy. That's what, my shit. Anything new that's coming with this one? Not really. Same mechanics, same everything, but the storyline is looking amazing. Like, yeah. is it turn based? Yeah. Uh, in a way, it's kinda. like free flowing. Yeah, turn? free flowing. Oh, okay. And it's it's a beautiful game. Mm-hmm. It, it is. It, it's a very beautiful yeah, game. The art style is really nice. See, I'm mm. a I'm gonna have to look at that one because the last one I played, I woke up well rested the next morning. So, <gasps> damn. Which one was that one? What I system was it on? Like Dragon Quest games generally put me to sleep for some reason. Really? And mm. I don't know if it's just because of the ones I've played specifically. Like yeah. I didn't play the one that's on PS4. You should try out five and eight. Five and eight? Is that are those on PS4 or game? Uh, eight is on PlayStation Three. Three. I think. Yeah, cause I haven't. I don't know. Like I, cause those are the type of games I would pay more attention to. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think I think it's just something on my side. But that mm-hmm. one, so I'm gonna get that one a shot, just to see. You know, I might like it actually. I might give it a shot also. Uh, next we have November 27th. It's going to be Dark Siders Three. I've never played Dark Siders. Oh, happening. Uh oh! <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that gameplay because you know that is one of the games I will stream. I'm streaming every bit of it. Mm. I'm not playing none of it not on stream. Mm-hmm. It's all gonna be on stream. Do you need to play play uh, one and two like first? And if you want to know the backstory, yeah. but most of Dark Side is um, like one and two are basically you know they're connected. It's, I'm pretty sure three will be too. Um, the jacked up part is I can't remember if this girl's name is Strife or if she's Fury. I think she's Strife. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, of course, the first one you had War, and then the second one you had Death. And what I like most about Darksiders is that they all the all of them are different. They're the four horsemen, right. but they, they're all different style. War mm-hmm. was just this, uh, you know, big, great sword, hulking figure of a dude. Mm-hmm. Death was real slick. He had twin scythes, uh, a cool gun. Uh, I don't know. So far, it looks like Strife is going to have um, some whips. Shit. So, yeah, yeah, the woman, yeah. I mean, and oh, then no. she looks gangster though. And yeah, and then there's the fact that she's a chick. So yeah. I'm in there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Monster Hunter Generation Ultimate, November 28th. Ultimate? Ultimate, yeah. I ain't why have I not heard of that? Mm-hmm. What is that? I think it's coming out for Nintendo Switch. Hmm. Oh, the Switch version. I have yeah. heard of that. Um, will I get it now? No. I don't play the one on PlayStation like that. So yeah. I'm Monster Hunter out at this point. It's so like we we we're still trying. Yeah, we're making our. I don't. Attempts. I think it was a great game when yeah, I was playing it. I don't by any means think it's a bad game, mm. but you gotta have the patience of a damn saint <laughs> to do some of the stuff that happens in that game uh-huh. and to deal with the slowness of it. Yeah, yeah. it's very slow. That's the part. I'd be over here just leaning my head. I'd be slobbing on my shirt trying to play. It's so. the constant chasing aspect of the game yeah. that I'm yeah. that I'm tired of. It, it grows old. I'm jumping off of branches to fall to my damn death. I'm thinking I just land and roll and then get ate by a T Rex. It's not fun. (laughs) You know, Angie Nathan gave me some bad memories. Don't even say his name around me. (laughs) (laughs) He he killed me at least eight times just last week. I was like, geez. Uh, So next we have Soul Calibur 6, October 19th. It's the one and only besides, you know, Smash Brothers. Yeah. The only fighting game I'm actually legit good at. I, 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 I suck at Tekken. Street Fighter, oh God, it's, I'm horrible. Mm. Like Mortal Kombat, trash. Who's the new person they're bringing in? Is it Garrow from... Uh, Garrow, yeah. Garrow from... Uh, it's Garrow from Witcher. From The Witcher, yep. that's right. Yep. That's right, that's, that's, that's cool. cool. Louis, you play, you play any uh, Soul Calibur? Don't. No. I don't see these last couple games. I'm You're just like, I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, I'm just here. I don't know, man. Everybody in that game looks good. I mean, Talon's back, you know, yep. all the pedophiles. So Oops. there's that. Oh, you just go say, you case, throw that out there? In my case, Taki's back. You know, yeah. I got the John Ivy. I married her the other day. I ain't tell nobody, though. She's like 74. <laughs> what's, the, what's your point? <laughs> what is your point? So that is wisdom. That's okay? wisdom. I can learn a lot. Oh, yeah, I feel that. That's disgusting. No, it is wisdom. 
It's not disgusting. I'm, I'm gonna pray for you though. Okay. I'm just happy they brought my nigga Valdo back with the pointy cup. Yeah. Bro, you talking about that dude there trips me out. Like, <laughs> how you moonwalk in place like that? Like, crazy. 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 I'm just that. mad they keep on putting him in a jock strap. Can we at least get a fully clothed oh Valdo? That would be great. I bet you he smell like jail cell and cheese, too. <laughs> I was thinking more like Geritol and yeah, all Vaseline. Damn, all that damn breathing and shit. <laughs> hey, man, look. Hey, man. Look, yeah, we gonna move on. We gotta get off on that. crazy. Like that. <laughs> Just cause for December 4th. I'm giving that a shot. Mm. Uh, I played, I uh, think that was three. I played three and it was pretty fun. Mm. Especially when I hung that one dude up on that curtain and rocket launched him in the sky. That That's, was just hilarious. That is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff you can do in Just Cause, like the game, the, the title says it all, Just Cause, like yeah. literally. Or is it Just Cause? Just Cause. Okay. Just Cause, you're just going to do it. Yeah, you, <laughs> you just, just going to do it. Yeah, just because there it is. So that's enough for me, man. Okay, I'm going to skip this one just because of rage. Because I, I don't want to get the same kind of experience twice. I'm not no, 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 don't no, skip it. You might as well say it. What you got? Uh, oh, you going to skip the game? Well, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm not going to cop this one. Why, though? Because, because I want to get rage. Oh, I'm going to get rage, too. Oh, I thought you were saying it's in because the game made you rage. Yeah, I was about to say No, man. no, no. Rage 2 <laughs> comes <laughs> out. This Come man over here later. throwing controllers <laughs> across the room. Yeah, I was going to say, yo, man, I'm like a Smash bro. The only, no, nah, the only <laughs> game that made me do that is FIFA. That's it. <laughs> Everything else I understand. I'm like, I'm just trash, whatever. <laughs> FIFA, you just ex- absolutely refuse to accept I'm it. like, no, I'm <laughs> the greatest in the world. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Sorry, about tech, yeah. Uh Super Mario Party. Happening. Copping. October fifth. You guys are getting that's, it. That's that's yeah, the party that, game, that's, man. That's just that's just it. Instead of playing Monopoly when you have like a good house gathering, yeah. Mario yeah. Party. Yeah. Like, that's that's the cop game. I'm I'm gonna definitely want to play it, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it because I know now that I know that y'all like y'all gonna get it. I'm gonna be over here playing it. I ain't gonna play it by myself. You know? <laughs> like I'm gonna be in a party of one. Yeah. <laughs> I won. I beat nobody. <laughs> You're right. I beat myself, but I ain't lose. So you know. Yeah. Uh, this is before the controversy. Just letting y'all know. Spyro the Dragon reignited trilogy September twenty first. I'll be copping. Definite cop. Yeah. As I said on the first podcast, Spyro is probably it's my first game. Mm-hmm. Was my first video game. So I'm copping that. Yeah, I'm just for copping. nostalgia. So I had a choice back then. It was Crash or it was Spyro, and I chose Crash. Mm. You made a mistake. I made a demo. I, I, you know, I had all the Spyro demos, right. but I always thought it, he was something about it was just kind of corny. I don't know what it was, but you know, Crash ain't exactly. Uh, oh, you just gonna spit in my face like that? That's what we're doing. Oh my god, sorry, man. I <laughs> apologize, to Spyro, not me. <laughs> it's a Spyro cover drop. Get these hands. Uh, That's Spyro. Di- get. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> that escalated quickly. And I was, I'm, I'm really going to get somebody to hand. They don't figure it out with this game. <laughs> that is right. We're going to definitely talk about that. So you have a... What was you playing? Because uh, we done with Cop and Drop. That was phenomenal. That was great. So I don't know about y'all, but I caught this good old beta mm-hmm. over the weekend called uh, Naruto the Boruto Shinobi Strikers. Man. That's a and long name. That is. About it's about mouth is mine. I got a little jealous when I heard when I heard. I was like, hold on now. <laughs> gotta add one more name. Yeah, now I gotta put something else on the back of it. I'm saying. So yeah, man, I went to playing and keep in mind, folks, I have not caught the Naruto game ever. Hmm. I've seen them happen. Ever? I've, you know, nah. I've watched Damn. them. I've uh, heard of them. I've seen them. I've heard results. I've seen all kinds of stuff. But I've never. It was never enough for me to cop one. Right. But I always said. If they do something where I can make a character and, you know, choose a teacher, all this good stuff, then they might have my vote. And bam, here it is. So the beta comes out. Me and Trev got a chance to play it. And I must say, it's going to be something I I think I'm going to buy because it was fun. You know, I hope that the only modes they got isn't the one that we played. Yeah, most definitely. It's probably not. I'm pretty sure they have like 1v1s. There's obviously a story. Mm -hmm. Um, And there better be a way to get Sasuke's cloak. Um, Other than that, yeah, I'm copying it, man. It was legit. I actually love the way the game flowed. Uh, they just got to figure out something with that matchmaking. Yeah. But just the beta, so I'm not going to fault them too much for it. But all together, it was a beautiful game. Great experience. Um, me and my good friend, we actually talked about this five, six years ago about a game coming out like this. It's, it's crazy because you get Dragon Ball Z, a game like that. It comes out first. Then it followed by a good ass Baruto game. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Like the fact that you can choose what village you come from, 
what you look like, male, female, all that fun stuff. It, oh, gonna, you got what four, five villages, and everybody look like. We don't know if time. that's where it's gonna stop at though. Yeah. Which I it probably is, but uh, all them villages, but the, even the the ones we had, and everybody still look like Naruto though. Yeah, that's I'm the crazy need part. All of y'all playing that game to get some goddamn creativity about yourself, please. Uh, all of you motherfuckers look like main characters, <laughs> for real. Like I'm gonna need y'all to stop. All right, but other than that, I'm gonna need them to also nerf. Um, that good old Sasuke style too, the range style. Yeah, that is. I mean, all you, that whole team, man, it's just cats on each corner of the wall hitting you with Flinty's fire with jutsu. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, all right, you know what? This this has to, that's mm-hmm. gonna be an issue because people don't want to run up and do nothing. You know, it's gonna they it's just gonna hitting you from a distance. It's gonna be crazy if nothing gets done about it. But it's not. It's also. But I want to sit here and act like um, that also didn't happen more so towards the first time I started playing it because when I got familiar with it. And got to picking up on defense and how defense worked. Yeah, that was barely happening. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, especially when E Stop, my man E Stop, a legend, he became a heal and got the hidden cast with the shadow paralysis juice. Yep. And that wasn't happening no more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, and I can't sit there and act like the defense ain't broken too with the good old sand cough or the sand, uh, mm-hmm. man, the barrier. The sand, yeah, the sand barrier. Man, just stand there and hold a spot. Mm-hmm. So it's like, hey, man, look, some of this stuff here is pretty legit. Right. Like, you know, I like all the classes ain't, you know, ain't got kind of an OP move. But, Overall, man, it was really good. It was really fun. So I think I'm gonna get it. I don't know anything y'all talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, same thing, bro. Well, I'm, I'm an I anime head. Yeah, yeah. Bro, he, yeah. Bro, he <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, it's, it's an eye <laughs> game. Right. Uh, if you're done with that, we can definitely go into our main topic. Topic today. It's going to be with the uh, is if the gaming industry is headed in the right direction. Is it getting better? Is it getting worse? Uh, if you look at you know battle royale microtransactions ea vr um all these things are starting to contribute to where we're going with gaming you know now people are starting to look at games as a game as a service uh we're starting to just download games and not you know go actually buy the physical uh copy right right. and um i don't know if we look a little bit more into the future we're looking at like games as a service and we're looking at like Instead of buying games, we're looking at just streaming them. Right. I don't know if anybody really has like a Wi, like their power of the Wi-Fi is that strong mm-hmm. to actually. Because I played like Dead Space Three streamed, and it's like a little bit behind. It's not as smooth as like the actual game is. And I mean, for that, uh, I know Xbox. We, we're hearing rumors that Microsoft is trying to get a a console together that solely streams games and i don't i don't know if we're ready for all that no yet. i don't think so i think it's gonna hurt the industry if they mm-hmm. yeah, like that. I, don't, I mean it's a lot of streaming going on but i don't think it's enough going on to where you have to have something exclusively for streaming yeah you know like i like to stream as much as the next man but i don't always do it even yeah. when i want to do it i don't always do it so mm-hmm. i don't know why you know it's just kind of one of those deals where it's like whether you feel like it or you don't so I'm definitely not going to invest in nothing like that. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, I mean, to each his own, man. Well, but, they want... The reason why I'm I'm pretty sure why they're doing it is they want reoccurring money. Right. $20 a month from everybody so, so you can continuously get any game, though. It's like it's like Netflix for gaming. Right. So, it's like you just... You pay a monthly fee and you can play, you know, a set number of games. Now, game uh, Xbox already has something with that called Game Pass. Right. Uh, but they're throwing all these awesome games in there. But I like that as an option. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think PlayStation had one. I think it's called like PlayStation Now or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I like it as an option. Right. I don't like it as like, okay, this is what it's for. Right. right. This, this whole console is what it's for. So I think just that we need to like we need to kind of lay off that. I feel like we'll be sacrificing quality. Like mm-hmm. you said, you were streaming a video game and it's piss poor quality. Yeah. Like that that sucks even if it's like I, I I'm a fan of old school PlayStation games. Mm-hmm. I would hate to stream like a Final Fantasy 7 or 8 and oh, then God. fuck my 8 and 7 experience up. Mm-hmm. Like I would be ready to punch a baby. Like that would not be <laughs> <laughs> it would not be good, man. Say punch a baby. Uppercut. <laughs> Swift baby. uppercut. Pun- not my Final Fantasy. Pun a baby. <laughs> oh, no. Kick the baby. What do y'all think about Battle Royales? If it, is it here to stay or? I think the trend's going to die out. Yeah. I think the main reason why Fortnite blew up the way it is, because you got to remember the generation of gamers coming up now, those kids were playing Minecraft oh, yeah. religiously. Mm-hmm. Like, the generation under us, mm-hmm. 
middle school when they were playing Minecraft. Yeah. So I believe that Fortnite blew up because people learned how to build and mm. they knew how to build from Minecraft. So they just carried that same aspect over from playing Call of Duty and mm. in Minecraft. And Epic, business wise, is smart because they, you know, with their loot box, not their loot boxes, but the tr- microtransactions, they're all, you know, cosmetic. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, they generate a lot of revenue from that too. And the internet has helped them like, like social media has helped them a lot. Yeah. Like I said, I think I said this last time. When we stopped hearing about 2K memes, we started hearing more about Fortnite memes. I was like, well, who's playing that game? Man, <laughs> somebody created it. <laughs> people, bro. It's free. Yeah, so, it's, exactly. That's another thing is it's a free, free game. Enough. Yeah. It's a free game. But there's a lot of free games out there, but <laughs> Fortnite takes the cake for some reason. You got to think about it. People created a parody of This Is America using Fortnite players. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Man. Wow. Yeah, they did it. They did it perfectly, too. It's perfectly synchronized. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It's crazy. But it, it has the the colors are vibrant in it. It has a cartoony feel with mm-hmm. it. It, uh, it has the building mechanic that makes it different from other Battle Royale games. Right. So, it, I mean, I can see why it's so successful, but I'm waiting for it to die, to be honest with you. Man, I'm ready for it to just get on out. Because things <laughs> like I, PUBG, I have, haven't had the chance to actually play and enjoy PUBG like on a console or anything. Terrible but on console. Terrible on console. It's terrible really? on console? It, it takes, whenever you land on the map, it takes 10, 30 seconds for it to render. I don't know if that's the case on oh, the newer Xboxes, yeah, but I have the older yeah, one. Yeah. And, I mean, it's a great game. But it's more of a PC type game. Yeah, it's janky. Yeah, it's, it's janky. I'm gonna try it now because I got a I got a bit of a newer Xbox in there, so I had my opportunity to try it. But I didn't realize what I had was like a ten day thing, mm. and I ain't tried for like two weeks. Wow! So when I finally went in there, it's like uh, no, nah, nah, but you nah, can nah, buy yeah. this whole game. Yeah, you, know? you so, can enjoy this. Now, right. me personally, I play H one Z one if I'm gonna do battle royale. It's tactical. I've never That's played how that I one feel about it. Like I've never mm-hmm. given given Fortnite much of a chance. But I have seen this H1Z1 thing kind of grow a tad bit. Mm-hmm. And I've been kind of watching it. So I do have it downloaded. Yeah. So Try it out. Yeah, I might I might just give it a shot and then come back with the results mm-hmm. on that one. What do you guys think about VR? I enjoy it solely based on the fact <laughs> it's that... Like, it's nuts. <laughs> Dude, I tried it for the first time. Yeah. That, like, last week, it, you're submerged in whatever the fuck you're doing. It's nuts. It's it, You're literally there. And uh-huh. it's just so breathtaking because you, you... Like, you... You're so oblivious to your surroundings mm-hmm. in real life. And you're so intact with like the game. It's yeah. it's a, it's a completely different gaming experience. It's so crazy. Now I would love that. I'm just afraid what's going on in the real world. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, I I grew up kind of like paying attention to things like Holy Yoko, my fa- one of my favorite animes, oh, and yeah, also such a good good. Show. and Sword Art <laughs> and Sword Art. That fucked me up for Sword life. Art. I don't want to be I stuck in no video Sword game. Art is too much damn crying. In that. <laughs> that's the main thing with Sword Art. But that's the main thing that scares me about VR is the fact that you're so submerged in the word oh, world yeah. that you might just become oblivious to everything yeah. going on. Kick your baby, hit something, <laughs> like, yeah, knock a TV it, down. We were playing in a room, and we, I could have easily, it was not mine, and this shit looked expensive. I could have easily broken it. I hit the fucking drawer a couple times. A computer Damn. Desk. Yeah, like, if you're not cleared, yeah. you're fucking yourself up, more yeah. something up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. And, and the funny thing about VR is we saw it coming. Yeah, it, yeah. It, Like, you know, shows beforehand have showed us, like, this could happen, you know, we could have virtual reality, this and that. And, um, I mean, we, we all saw it coming, but I, I don't know if I'm ever going to really truly get into it. I'll try it. The only game I know for sure I'll never try is, like, Resident Evil in that month. <laughs> Resident Evil 7. That looked Sad ridiculous. Man. I'm no. like, nah. <laughs> it, when I was a kid and we would play Resident Evil, I was scared then. Yeah, I ain't trying yeah, to be, like, I Nemesis mean, walking around and saying, Scott. No, nah, nah, man. Mm, mm, it's no I'd be like, Mike else, respect. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else for it after that. I can't do all that. Because VR, they said they were going to bring up... <clears throat> VR to Final Fantasy fourteen. Now, if they do that, I'm going to have to try that out. Ah, I don't Just, know, man. I don't know about that. Hey. My thing, all right, so think about it. Because, mm-hmm. you know, fourteen right now has a first-person mode. Right. I don't feel like it's going to be too different. You might see your hands. You might be. I mean, will you even see yourself doing the skills? Mm-hmm. I mean, how does that work? They actually, they did a test of it last year at E3, I believe. It actually looks pretty legit. Mm-hmm. Uh, they said it's probably best used for crafting. They would not, like, say, do an end game with yeah. it because that would be fucking horrible. I can, I can see it. <laughs> I can definitely but, see it if you craft. It would 
bring a whole new experience to like fishing stuff that because that's just kind of boring mm-hmm. and you just kind of stand in there and just x button you know whatever button you press so i feel like vr with crafting would definitely we'd see a lot more crafters mm-hmm. so i well, think that'd be a good idea that's the thing too like you 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 think it'd be hard to like manage where your hands are mm-hmm. but like when you're looking through it you literally have the controllers and you like the ones i had you could press the buttons and you're literally looking at your hands like straight up what yeah like it's it's the craziest thing and these games are getting so crazy. they're getting so good huh? <laughs> yeah. well uh, well everything we talked about so far i feel like in my own opinion they're a little bit they're making it a little bit worse i don't know what you guys think mm-hmm. I guess it depends on how you look at it. Like, it's... Because that's kind of a loaded question. Like, mm-hmm. it's getting better for the devs. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. they're, mon- you know, they're getting all kinds of money off of this. But that's also a bad thing because the fact that they're mostly, like, catering to casuals. Yeah. And I can't help but kind of place a lot of this blame on the casuals. Mm-hmm. Because they're settling, I feel like, for less. Mm-hmm. And a lot of games that have come out, man have no real difficulty to them they don't have any real strategy a lot of shit's just face roll mm. and that's the main reason like casuals they serve their purpose they, yeah. they buy the game and they don't really have to pick it up they even do microtransactions casuals do yeah but it's like those those same people are ruining the industry kind of mm. in a yeah. way especially for us people who are quote unquote serious mm. or hardcore gamers mm. It kind of makes it hard for us to stay inside of something knowing that somebody else isn't really trying, especially yeah. if you're playing a game like an MMO or something that actually you have to work with other people. The progress and most the developers game. Are, are targeting casuals because, you know, they, they play only one, two, three games a year. Mm-hmm. And uh, they want them to buy, you know, one of those games will be the game that they buy. Right. And um, like Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, I'm going to play it, but I know there's going to be a whole bunch of casual people that buy Madden and that and that's it. I know there's a whole bunch of people that are going to do all that. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, man. Like, it's so many, so many things you could blame on it. I'm just, I'm afraid for that, though. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid to see what happens with a lot of the games that are, at, at one point, were better than what they used to be. Because, you know, but, I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm kind of scared for it. I feel like it's getting worse as we go. Mm-hmm. But there is some people, like some developers out there that are keeping it, like, keeping true to themselves. Like, if you look at CD Projekt Red. With uh, The Witcher and um, what, what game are they working on? Cyberpunk 2077. No that loot looks, boxes. That looks amazing. It looks great. It looks really awesome. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell that even is. <laughs> You're going to have to go look it up, yeah, man. Everybody yeah. was like hyped about it. I was like, tell us this. It's, it's, it's a beautiful awesome. game. Yeah, it's it's gonna very be beautiful. Awesome. It's going to be awesome. And especially, I mean, they made The Witcher. So I, I give them all my damn respect and, 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 and hope, basically. Uh, you also have, like, Insomniac with Spider-Man. You're getting you're getting these great DLCs, no loot boxes. Um, who else isn't doing any? Uh, I'm trying to think of a game that isn't doing that's doing free DLC right now. Um, free DLC. Yeah, free uh, DLC. I I would say GTA Online, but yeah, they just got some actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I was playing it, but the, it's free. But at the same time, they they do hold accountable. Like they have a lot invested into their shark cards they want you right. to use actual money so i don't i don't want to use that but but these developers that slow down the progression of your player and then make loot boxes um appealing to the to the players after that that's just anti-consumer right like that's that's terrible and i and that's what scares me with the gaming industry i just don't want it, it seems like every other game is like that yeah it's getting worse be- mm-hmm. with those and ent- like they they don't really cater to us anymore which they should it's like we're buying your product yeah. at least at least spot us like this dlc works. is getting out of the out of hand like, the problem is they spend 500 million dollars to make a game and they're only getting like we only pay 60 dollars for it right? right and that's it and they feel like they're not getting the money back either quick enough or or soon enough i don't i don't know i mean what kills me about games nowadays is that i, I feel like whoever the hell the ceo is behind these games don't know shit about a game Mm-mm. like no. i don't think he'll ever know how to make an awesome game where you're supposed to kill a dragon with a fucking chainsaw. Yeah. But I feel like he had, he's a genius in the sense of financially where he feel like the game can go. That but investors, yeah. The, the part that pisses me off about the games nowadays is that, hell, games ain't even half-ass out. You might hear that they're announced. You might get a release date, if that. And the motherfuckers are talking about DLC on the same fucking topic they're releasing it. Right. Like, the fucking game ain't even out yet. And y'all already <laughs> seen the game they complete. Y'all already saying I'm gonna get an incomplete game. Y'all wants to play for, uh, pay for this bullshit and yeah. be happy about it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and you wonder why shit's the way it is. Right. 
I'd rather you just lie to me and be like, no, we're about to give you a full game. And then two months later, be like, hey, man, we got some DLC. It's got, not the full story. Coming. Do that to me. Don't be like, hey, man, here goes a brand new game. And guess what? DLC coming two weeks after the mm-hmm. release. Hey, speaking of which, anybody else hear about Kingdom Hearts being a short game, potentially? What? I, I'm having a good day. You better piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. I, heard I, don't, I don't know if it's true. Mm. I doubt it because... They were like, I don't, I, don't see that. I don't see that being a thing. The game no. hasn't been out. It was what ten years now. Yeah, about twelve get, years. Yeah, right? it's been a very long time. Kids have grown up now, yeah. and the shit was being made. So if th- this shit better not have. I mean, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if it had DLC. Mm-hmm. But after twelve fucking years, you better yeah. not have a whatever DLC you got. Better be for some shit that's coming out later. Yeah, yeah. there's too many storylines and arcs for that shit yeah, to be a short, be yeah. a short game. And that's why that's how I felt about it. I was and the like, Kingdom Heart community is like hardcore about that game. So they're yeah. gonna, they're I gonna mean, freaking fire and fury, boy. They waited. I, the, the game it took so long to come out. I ain't even interested in it. No the oh my the fact that you said that, they're probably gonna just shut off the podcast as soon as you say, "Oh God <laughs> damn it, oh, mother." <laughs> what's that, what's that time like, Louis? Twelve thousand divided by two. You know, they don't tell you. Okay. Okay. It goes by beats. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, um, is that? I guess we can settle with the question. Like, is the gaming industry getting better or worse? I feel like it's getting worse. Mm. I don't see right now. I just I feel like the bad outweighs the good. I mean, mm. granted, there are still certain gems in the gaming industry that we can always feel I feel like we can still kind of always rely on mm-hmm. but by the time those gems come out we're this shit's too far gone yeah like it's just it's just too many negatives it's too many what ifs it's too many mm-hmm. days of me saying oh cool that game's coming out what's wrong with it <laughs> not even happy when it, when I see some shit like that and I feel the same way it's getting worse because it's like even if when they tell us a release date are we really going to get that game on that release date mm-hmm. right. how many release dates did we get for 15 how many release dates have we got for oh God. King Kingdom Hearts. Hearts? Wow, a lot. I'm, I'm not trying to shoot, send shots at Square Enix, mm. but goddamn, man. I mean, there's that, and then like certain games, I feel like should not be delayed. No, like especially fucking fighting games. And I don't know if you guys saw this today. Uh, Crackdown's developers said, "Oh, the game's finished. We're we're gonna use this time to you know iron out some details. Oh, if the game's finished, why don't you guys give us a fucking earlier release date? Yeah, give yeah. us a beta. Yeah, give us something. Yeah, give us a beta. Give us something to kind of keep it, you know, keep it going. But yeah, it's just certain games like that. And fighting, I don't feel like fighting games should ever be delayed for any. Like I'd be hot if Soul Calibur got fucking pushed back because. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a video game developer by any means, but I would like to assume that a fighting game doesn't take as much effort, maybe some mm-hmm. good animation, some good balancing, mm-hmm. good story, decent amount of characters, there's a fighting game. Yeah. So I feel like certain games like that should just come straight out. Yeah. So I kind of I kind of have a small hope for fighting games, but looking at certain games, the ones that they came out with, like Z Fighters, which is a fucking fantastic game, uh, Blaze Blue is also good, but mm. they're fan service games. So eventually they die out. Mm. Whereas games like Tekken Seven, Street Fighter Five, Mortal Kombat, those games are heavily anticipated. So, I mean, I've been hearing about Mortal Kombat Eleven, and but it's been in and out. So I'm like, I don't know. There's so many things, so many gems to look forward to. But I like when time. you said when you was like, it, it, the the bad outweighs the good, and I think that's the best way to put that. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I, I think that. So uh, that's been uh, my ninja. Uh, gaming podcast make sure you guys subscribe and and like the video um we're gonna keep doing awesome content so stay tuned all right peace Peace.